On today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install our little 3v3 fix kit on your Ender 3 S1 or Ender 5 S1 control board. So as many of you know, we come out with LCD kits for different printers that usually involve replacing the stock LCD with a 12864 style. The reason we do this is because these stock color LCDs are typically very limited and we want to give you guys the most features out of your printer. Now, one of the things we encountered with the Ender 3 S1 and the Ender 5 S1 is that sometimes the LCDs wouldn't work right. After doing some investigating and testing on our actual machine here, we discovered that the cause of this problem is due to the 3.3 volt rail on these boards being too low. For example, our Ender 5 S1 here is actually only operating at a 3.0 volt level when it should be at 3.3. Three. The problem with this is it causes the processor to run at a lower voltage and it causes corruption between the LCD and the control board, which makes the screen go all sorts of crazy. So I'm going to switch over to my bench camera here. I'm going to show you guys how to test this to see if your printer is affected. And then I'm going to show you guys how to install this quick little kit we came up with that will fix the issue. Now I have my multimeter here. I'm going to show you guys how to check your 3.3 volt rail. I have the bottom removed from my printer and I do have it plugged in. The printer has to be on for this. All these wires over here and the ones on the right side of the power supply, these are your wall power. Make sure not to touch these. So I'm going to go ahead and set my multimeter to the DC voltage setting. Now, if you have a more basic multimeter where you have like 20, 200 and whatnot, you should set it to 20 and you wanna be on the DC setting, which is the solid line on top of the three dots. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power on for my printer. And the easiest way is to grab your ground here from the main power supply input terminal. You can see there it's marked 24V negative. And then we're just gonna to touch the other one to the very right pin on the four pin header here. And you can see there, we're only reading 2.99 volts. So this board does have a 3.3 volt rail that's too low. We're going to go ahead and install the kit on this printer. Now, if your board does read at least like 3.2 or higher, you probably aren't going to need this kit. But if you don't have a multimeter, it's not going to hurt to put this on a board that doesn't need it. It's just going to give it extra capacity on its 3.3 volt rail because we're adding a second voltage regulator in parallel with the existing one. So I have my Ender 5 S1 here on its back with the bottom cover removed so I can show you guys this. This is a Creality 12864 LCD and I have it connected to the main board and it's running our firmware on it. Now, when I turn on the LCD here, you'll see it's all garbled and corrupted. And sometimes the menu doesn't even show like it's doing here. Now I'm gonna hook up our little 3v3 fix kit really quick and I'm gonna show you guys that it works with the kit connected. And the kit only has three wires. We've got a five, a three, and a G pin. So since I'm using the 12864 LCD, I'm gonna connect two wires to this four pin header here and then one on the six pin. And this is just a quick demo. And then I'll show you how to do the proper installation. And then I'm gonna turn the printer on again. And you can see here immediately, the LCD starts working correctly. And it'll continue to work correctly. Even if I go through the menus and everything, go in and out, there's no corruption. Now, if I pull the kit off, you can see there almost immediately it goes back to screwing up. So I'm going to show you guys how to install this, whether you're using the 12864 or the touchscreen. So this installation is for if you're using the touchscreen whether this is on Ender 5 S1 or Ender 3 S1 Pro or S1 Plus. You will have jumper wires included with the kit. You're going to want to connect three of them to the 3v3 fix module as shown here. And the wire colors don't matter. What does matter is which pin goes to what. So you see we have three pins, five, three, and G. The G is going to go to the pin on the left here on the four pin header. The three is gonna go on the very right pin. And then the last one, which is the five, is gonna to go to the top right pin on the 10 pin header here. Now to mount this, just take the little screw off of here in the bottom left hand corner of the board, put it through here and screw it in place. 
At this point then, the kit's installed. Now, if you're using this kit with a 12064 screen or with the Ender 3 S1's color screen with the knob, this is how we're going to connect it. So the five pin here will go to this header on the left. The three pin will go to the pin on the right here, or the four pin header, and then the G pin will go to the left. So just like that, we have all our connections made. You can go ahead and take the bottom left screw out right here, put it through the module screw hole and screw it in place. One thing I will recommend is if you want to make sure that these never come out, you can put a little dot of hot glue on the pins, whether it's in this configuration or the other one to hold them in place. And that's all there is to installing the kit. If you guys were having issues with the LCD screens on your Ender 3 S1 or Ender 5 S1, this will be a good way to fix it without having to replace the board. We have been testing this fix in-house for many weeks with the printer on 24-7. We haven't had any issues with the onboard regulator overheating or with the additional regulator that's in this kit overheating. They are working really well together and it helps bring that voltage level up to the 3.3 that everything should be. I suspected originally the cause of the low voltage was due to a bad onboard regulator on the actual control board. And when I swapped it for a different one, the issue actually went away. But after a couple of restarts, the printer went back to showing a 3.0 or 2.9 voltage on my particular machine. What this leads me to believe is there's probably either a design flaw or other components that the regulator that's built onto the board needs to run properly that are not functioning correctly, which is causing the low voltage. So either way, I'm gonna run this printer with our little fix on here because it beats having to shell out another 60 bucks for another board that may or may not have the same issue. So if you guys are having LCD corruption issues with the Ender 3 S1 series printers or the Ender 5 S1, this will sort those out because it's bringing the processor voltage up from that low voltage to the 3.3, which is what these LCDs need to run correctly. In addition to that, since the processor is getting the correct 3.3 volts that it needs to operate, I would expect that this would also mean the printer is probably going to run a little bit more stable and be less prone to having weird random issues due to the onboard regulator not running at the correct voltage that it's supposed to. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do want to pick up one of these kits that I put together, there is a link in the video description. And we also have this as an optional add-on for our Ender 3 S1 series LCD conversion kits, as well as the Ender 5 S1 conversion kit. So if you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and send us a message by going to contactus.th3dstudio.com. You can also leave a comment. And if it's a quick one, I typically will respond. But if it's something that's more in depth, I will direct you to go to our contact page so we can have you open a ticket and engage with you that way. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, happy printing.